EA Sports. It's in the game. Representing that team, EA Sports. If you don't got no game, don't get in the game because it's in the game, baby. NCAA Football 2005. Here on campus at historic Old Miss, we're at Vaughn Hemingway Stadium. A mild, clear day is what we'll have for the Oklahoma Sooners and the Rebels of Old Miss. And here come the Rebels. Welcome everyone, Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host Kirk Herbstreet and the coach Lee Corso. We hope you're as excited as we are for this one. The Sooners are pretty confident coming into this one, Kirk. It really doesn't appear to be much of a contest. Uh, there's no question about it. This one's going to be pretty ugly. Oklahoma is led by their running back. Now I had a chance to talk to him about this game and believe me, he is ready to run all over this defense. Coach, I expect him to have a big game on the ground. You're 100% correct. Oklahoma is going to go after the defensive front early and just pound them. Kirk, don't be surprised if these guys will run for 400 yards in this football game. Easy win. Oklahoma has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. He kicks it. Number four fields it at the seven. They'll take over at the 19-yard line from the gun. At the 19-yard line, first and ten. the pass throws this one out to the left and down he goes how about that reception Lee a good throw plus a nice catch and some good blocking equals to a chunk of yards that's exactly what you practice all the time Brad it's first and ten ball on their own 37 The Rebels line up with three wide. They get it out there on the top. Spin move. And they make the stop for maybe five yards there on the halfback toss. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 42. The Sooners line up in a nickelback. They go with a toss. Brought down. Couple of yards there. Gain of two on the play. It's third down and three to go. Ball on their own 44. The Sooners bring in their dive package. Up the middle. Bounces off the whippy tackle. And he's taken down. And a good run by the halfback. That was a sensational play right there. You know why? Because they converted the first down and kept the other offense off the field. First and ten. Ball on the 49. The Rebel come out in the ace formation. Drops back to pass. Throws this one out to the left. Incomplete pass. Number seven, the intended receiver on the play. Second it's second ten. down and ten to go. Oh, this is the sixth play line. of this drive. Yeah. Number 24 is the single setback. Hot. 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 He drops back. He's going left. It's tipped. 
And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. Third and ten, and this is the seventh play of the current drive. The defense lines up with six DBs. Back to pass, throws off that one, and it falls incomplete. That looked like a pretty good pass. Yeah, it was, and it was a catchable ball going right at him. He just didn't catch it. punt this one away. Number 97 boots it way up there. Number 28 signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 15-yard line. The offense heads out onto the field for the first time. And with their defense forcing the punt, it allows them to have a shot at getting the first points on the board. They'll start this drive at the 15. And this offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. Inside handoff. And he's tackled in the open field. He picks up a yard on the play. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 16. Going with the shotgun here. Drops back to pass. Steps up. Let's it fly. Incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. This quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. Third and nine. Ball on the 16-yard line. The Sooners go with the eye formation. He drops back. Throws. Got it. Tackle. Wow, how about that third down conversion? Boy, what a play here, guys. I'm really impressed with the poise of this young quarterback. He was very cool and collected out there on that third and long play. It's first and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. The Sooner set up in the gun. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. Back to pass. He's going left. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. They just couldn't capitalize on the bad pass. Yeah, I thought the defender had it, but he couldn't get the pick. Second and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Number 18 is back in the gun. Throws this one out to the left. The ball is tipped. The defense needed that one. How about the move here by this cornerback? Great play that time, getting a hand on the football. Third. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. They come out in a five-wide set. Drop back to pass. He steps up. He's looking. Down the middle. And got him! And they tackle him. And there's a penalty on the play. Let's see who it's on. Holding on the offense. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Oklahoma comes out in the shotgun. He drops back. Wants to throw outside. The ball is tipped. The corner made a good play on the ball. He sure did. This kid is very athletic. If he doesn't get a pick, he does his best to knock the ball down. No surprise here as they prepare to put it away. He punts it. Number 11, Beals is the 37, broke away from one. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. 
They'll go to work at the 41-yard line. Number 16 lines up with five wide out. They'll throw on first down. He's going right. Batted ball. The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big-time playmaker, he better start getting two hands on it. Yeah, Lee, that ball should have been picked off there. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 41. The Sooners line up with six defensive backs. Back to pass. Looks. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Down the middle. And the wideout had trouble holding on there. And I'll tell you what, he was holding on for dear life there. I don't think he was concerned about the ball too much on that play. Nah. Third and ten. Ball on their own 41. The Rebels have five receivers on this play. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Over the middle. And he's hit hard. Well, they get all those yards, but come up just shy of the first. Good play call, almost perfect execution, except for the fact that they're not going to get the first down. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Number 97 boots it way up there. Number 28 calls for the fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 19-yard line. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 19. The sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. Wants to throw outside. It's tipped. And that pass falls incomplete because it was deflected. That's great defense right there, Brad. That's something the coaches always remind their players to do. Get a hand up in the face of the quarterback. Second and 10, ball on the 19. Ole Miss lines up with five defensive backs. They go with a toss, throws it to the outside, and he dropped it. You got to be careful when you're calling a trick play like this because it's usually a huge gain or a turnover. They were lucky it was only incomplete. Third down and 10 coming up, ball on their own 19. Nickel defense. He drops back. He's going left. Intercepted. And just a great interception by the cornerback. Well, that's big time. He made a great read on the quarterback and got in there for the pick. They'll take over at the 30-yard line. Number 16 lines up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Throws this one out to the left. Got it to his receiver. First down, what a pass. Boy, that was a big-time throw by the quarterback. He did a good job of taking what the defense gives him. First and 10, they're threatening inside the 20. They find themselves in the red zone for the first time today. Back to pass, he's in trouble, and down he goes. They got heavy pressure on him that time. Boy, you better believe it. The penetration got there and boom, he went down. Yeah, that pocket just collapsed right on top of the quarterback. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. Oklahoma has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. Going deep. Incomplete pass. Third down, 15. Ball on the 24. Ole Miss comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. Steps up. Looking. Throws this one out to the left. He never had possession of it. Oh, that was a close one. He almost had six there. 
reach the end of the first quarter. Still no score. Here we go. They'll try to make this a field goal game. It's up. And it's through the uprights. So here's the Pontiac Drive summary to recap what just happened. to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Number 28 fields it in the end zone. Makes a move. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. They'll start this drive at the 20. Number 18 with three wide receivers. They'll throw on first down. Throws it to the outside. And that one was a little off target. Yeah, he had a little too much mustard on that one, Brad. He needs a little bit more touch in those passes and let the receivers go get it. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. Going with the shotgun here. He drops back. He's going left. That is ball. I tell you what, Kirk, if that receiver doesn't get more aggressive, this defense is going to be knocking the balls down all game long. You're absolutely right. That was a heads-up play by the corner, but it would have never happened if the receiver would have come back to the ball instead of waiting for it to fall into his lap. It's third down and 10. Ball on their own 20. The Sooners line up with three wide. He's looking. Down the middle. Got it. And they make the stop. Nice play call to get them the conversion. When a team converts on third down, they can really frustrate a defense. When they converted third and long, it just makes them sick. First and 10. Ball on their own 33. They line up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Wants to get it out on the screen. Off his hands and incomplete. So it's second and ten. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Number 18 has four receivers lined up here. He steps up, looks, throws this one out to the left, and down he goes. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. First and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. Number 18 with four wide receivers. Play action, looking. He's going right. What a pick! That last INT gives this defense two on the day. Not a good throw there. The quarterback needs to make better decisions. They'll set up shot at the 35-yard line. Ole Miss sets up in the eye. Inside handoff, and he's taken down. Three yards there on the play. Three-yard gain on the play. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 38. Number 24 lines up as a single back. Here's a pitch, left side. Brought down. A big gain for the halfback. You know, when we talked to the coach yesterday, he said they were going to run it over, up, and around this defense. Well, here they got a nice gain on the old toss. Play. First and 10, ball on their own 47. 
The Rebel, come out showing three wide. And they'll run him again. And they make the stop. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 50. Oklahoma brings in the nickel here. And they hit him in the backfield. The quarterback draw not successful there. Nope, and I'm going to tell you why. This defense was not fooled at all on that play. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball right around midfield. Oklahoma has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. The throw. And it's caught. Wow, how about that third down conversion? Boy, what a play here, guys. I'm really impressed with the poise of this young quarterback. He was very cool and collected out there on that third and long play. It's first and ten. Ball on the 36. The Rebels line up with three wide. The big guy with room to run. They'll bring him down. And the fullback made him pay big time on that little run. <laughs> little. There was nothing little about that run, my friend. No joke. He busted through there for some nice, nice yardage. First and ten. Ball on the 23. Three wide outs here. They'll keep it on the ground again. And he's tackled. The back gets three on the carry. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 20-yard line. They're in the red zone again, but this time they should be thinking touchdown. They'll go with the run once again. Brought down. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Gain of two on the play. Third so another five. third down upcoming Ball for the offense. The Sooner can line up in a nickel back. And they make the stop. Nothing going on that one. is lined up for the kick. The kick is up. And it's good. Time to take a look at the drive summary. It's brought to you by Pontiac. Fuel for the soul. Six. Looks ready to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Number 28 fields it in the end zone. Let's watch this defense and how aggressive they are. They were able to get a pick the last time, and they're like a wild animal. When they smell blood, they go in for the kill. Take it easy, coach. You're getting excited. Hey, that's right, sweetheart. I'm always excited. First and ten. Ball on their own 16. Oklahoma in a five-wide set. They'll throw on first down. Throws it to the outside. His receiver has it. And he's tackled. Oklahoma takes a timeout. It's first and 10. Ball on the 44. They come out with three wide receivers. They'll throw on first down. Across the middle. Tackle. Oklahoma calls a timeout. First and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. Three wide outs here. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. 
Across the middle. He tries to spin. And down he goes. What a catch. And that's going to give him a first down. Well, that's a big play for the offense. But I think the defense needs to play a little bit tighter in the secondary. Penalty markers down. They took too much time. And they're going to lose yards on that one. Well, they're not helping their cause here by moving in the wrong direction. First down and 15 to go. All on the 26-yard line. They'll throw on first down. He'll dump this one off. He's got the fullback. And they make the stop. That was a good completion there. Yeah, I really like the good, clean routes they ran on that play. Oklahoma takes a timeout. Second and 11. Ball on the 22-yard line. Number 83 lines up for the field goal. It's up, and it sails through the upright. And now let's take a look at the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Oklahoma lines up for the kickoff. Number seven and number four. Deep to return. Kicks it off. Number seven fields it at the seven. Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime. Ole Miss, six. Oklahoma, three. Ole Miss will be kicking off to start the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. Number three fields it in the end zone. And now we'll see the offense coming out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 19-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Across the middle. And he's tackled. Good yardage there. And that'll move the sticks. Nice time to call pass here. It looked like the defense might have been looking run. First and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Ole Miss lines up in a dime defense here. They'll throw on first down. The ball is tipped. And they do a good job at swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where the football is and is get his hand on it. Second it's second down and 10 to go. All on the 40. Number 18 is back in the gun. He drops back, steps up. He's looking under pressure. He's going left. Almost picked off. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Third and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Ole Miss lines up with five defensive backs. Back to pass. He steps up. Throws it to the outside. And down he goes. 
They convert on third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time, how about the timing on that route, Coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and ten. Nice play. The Sooners come out in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. He tosses it short. Complete. He's knocked out of bounds. He didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. It's second down and eight to go. And this is the sixth play of the drive. Number 18 lines up in the shotgun. Drop back to pass. He's going right. It falls incomplete. The receiver couldn't catch up to that ball. No, he couldn't. And I'll tell you what, the quarterback was conscious of the blitz that time by the defense. That may have been the reason that he overthrew the football. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Number 18 with four wide receivers. Wants to go long and done. And that one's fallen incomplete. Heads up play to bat it down. Yeah, and if you can't get to the quarterback or intercept the pass, the next best thing is to get a hand up. They send out the punting unit. Number 87 boots it way up there. Number 39 signals for a fair catch. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 11 yard line. Number 16 comes to the line with three wide. Spinning. And he's taken down. No gain. No gain on the play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball of the 11. Ace backfield. On the ground with the tailback. And they make the stop. He picks up four yards on the carry. Gain of four on the play. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on their own 15. Ole Miss comes out in the shotgun. He throws it, and it's incomplete. He overshot his halfback that time. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. He gets it away. Number 28 fields at 46. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll take over at the 48-yard line. Number 20 is the single setback. They are going to pitch it. Throws this one out to the right. Incomplete pass. you got to be careful when you're calling a trick play like this because it's usually a huge gain or a turnover. They were lucky it was only incomplete. Second and 10. Ball right around midfield. The Sooners line up in an eye formation. Brought down. That'll be a gain of three yards. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on the 49. Oklahoma comes to the line with three wide. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. It's deflected. Great defensive play by the cornerback. And the punt team will come out. It's fourth down. He punts it away. It's a high kick. Number 26 calls for the fair catch. 
He hauls it in at the 14. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Yeah, maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made of. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. The Rebel set up in the gun. Handoff up the middle. And down he goes. The back hits three on the carry. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 17. Number 16 is back in the gun. They hand it off. They'll bring him down. The halfback runs for four yards. Gain of four on the play. We get third and three here. Ball on the 21. Number 24 lines up in the deep back. High formation. That's not going to move the sticks. This defense played some sound football out there and did a good job of not letting him get into any kind of rhythm. They line up to punt this one away. He punts it. Number 28 fields it at the 46. The offense gets ready to start a new drive as they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession. Going three and out. They'll set up shop at the 43-yard line. The Sooners come out showing three wide. They'll throw on first down. Across the middle, tackle. And a nice pickup through the air. I'll tell you what, fellas, I love this kid's throwing ability. He's got a quick release, and he's very accurate. It's second and inches. Ball on the 33. Oklahoma comes out with an eye formation. Inside hand over. Brought down. And the tailback gets positive yards there. This is the old counter play. Nothing too, too fancy. Just keep those chains moving. It's first and 10, ball on the 30-yard line. And this offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. He passes it. Batted ball. That ball's incomplete as the defender got a piece of the ball. Well-thrown ball here by the quarterback into the end zone, but give the defender credit. He made a heck of a play. So it's second and 10, ball on the 30. The Sooners go with the eye formation. He drops back. Throws short. They'll bring him down. So they execute and move a little closer to the sticks. Yeah, completing those short passes is the key because it lulls the defense to sleep a little bit. Then you can launch one big one downfield for a big game. Oklahoma in a four wide set. They'll go with the run once again. Tackle. They don't pick up the first on that play. Brad, that defense is saying, not so fast, my friend. You're not going to run that ball that easy. Only a field goal separates these two teams as we move to the fourth quarter. Here comes the special teams. They'll try to tie this game up with a field goal. He gets it up. And it's good. And now let's take a look at the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Oklahoma to kick. Number seven, back to return. Here's the kick. Number seven takes it at the four. 
This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. They'll get the ball here at the 23. Ole Miss comes out with an eye formation. They'll throw on first down. Across the middle. And it falls incomplete. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball in the 23. Number 16 comes to the line with three wide. Here's the option. He lateral. He spins around. Brought down. The running back gives them six yards on the ground. Gain of six on the play. They're down and four coming up on this one. Ball on their own 29. The Rebel set up in the gun. Drops back to pass. Looks. Steps up in the pocket. Throws this one out to the right. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Number 97 punts it, and he didn't get much distance on it. Number 28 takes it at the 45. Just about ready to call the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. Excellent field position to start the drive. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. They'll wrestle them down in the backfield. And they snuffed out the quarterback draw there. And there was absolutely no place for that quarterback to run on that play. Good job by this defense. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. Number 18 with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Steps up. Looking. He's under pressure. Throws. And he can't hang on to it. Dropped by the wideout. Third down, 15. Ball right around midfield. The Sooners. Come out in the shotgun. He drops back. He steps up. He's looking. Aaron and that long. And that one's fallen incomplete. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time. He just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. Number 39 signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 15-yard line. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll start this drive at the 15. Number 16 lines up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Looks, throws it to the outside. And he shoved out of bounds, and the wideout couldn't drag a foot. Yeah, but he showed really nice hands on that play. Second and ten. Ball on their own 15. Number 24, alone in the backfield. Drops back to pass. He tosses it short. Incomplete pass. The wide receiver couldn't quite hang on to that. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 15. The Sooners bring in the nickel package. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Under heavy pressure. He's rolling left. He's looking for his man. 
got it. And he's finally shoved out at the 45. Oh, my. What do you think of that one, Kirk? Boy, I'll tell you what. The quarterback delivered a perfect pass on that play and gave them more than enough for the first down. First and ten. Ball on their own 45. Number 16 with three wide receivers. They'll drop him for a loss. It's an excellent job of the defense here to read the draw play. Yeah, the quarterback thought he could spread them out and find a hole for himself to run through. Ha, they were having none of that, my friend. It's second down and 12 to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. Ole Miss goes with the ace set here. The counter, and he's going to lose yards on this one. And he couldn't go anywhere on that run. Nah, he couldn't go anywhere because there was no place for him to run. The defensive front got a good push and knocked that offensive line backwards. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. Oklahoma brings in the nickel here. Steps up, looking, going deep, lays it out there, and they bring him down. So on third down, they pick up the first and a lot more. When that kid caught the ball, he wasn't thinking about first down. He was thinking touchdown. First and ten. Ball in the 23. Ole Miss comes to the line with three wide. Wants to throw outside. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Looks like he tried to force that one. Defense was in a zone there, and the quarterback needs to do a better job of finding a passing window to throw through. Well, that window must have been tinted because he almost threw a pick. It's second down and ten to go. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Ole Miss lines up with three receivers. And he's tackled. That's a 10-yard gain. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. The kicker got them points on their last red zone visit. Let's see if the offense can get points this time. And that's a pretty nice run there. Yeah, for a first down, too. Yeah, anytime you can get production like this from the fullback, you give the defense something else to worry about. EA Sports and Old Spice say congratulations to our players of the game. They put everyone up on the line. There's a missed tackle. And they hit him in the backfield. Absolutely no blocking up front. Hey, sometimes a blitz is used to get after a quarterback in the passing game. But this time, it was used to stick the halfback behind the line of scrimmage. They come out with three wide receivers. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's stopped behind the line. Old Miss calls a timeout. Three. Oklahoma brings in their nickel package. Three. Gives to the fullback. He's hit and got away. Touchdown, Old Miss! Nice run by the fullback to put six on the board. You give this kid a chance, he can get it done. That was a nice looking run. This drive summary is brought to you from our good friends at Pontiac. Looks 
Black there ready for the kick. We should have a return on this one. Number three. Fields it at the one. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. They'll take over at the 19-yard line. Number 18 is back in the gun. He's looking. Across the middle. Finds a man. And he's taken down. Oklahoma takes a timeout. It's first and 10. Ball in the 34. Oklahoma lines up for the shotgun set. He drops back. He's going right. Got it. At the 40. Inside the 30. To the 10. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Wow. Once he caught that one, nobody was going to get it. You know, guys, this kid is a true spread. He runs track in the offseason. And it shows right here, Kurt. It looked like he was running against the high school secondary. Point. Let's take a glance now at the Pontiac drive summary. Oklahoma to kick this one off. Here's the kick. Number seven takes it at the eight. Well, the offense is back on the field again. In their last drive, they moved the ball very well, especially through the air on their way to that touchdown. They'll set up shot at the 23-yard line. Four wide. Has some daylight. He jukes. And there's a fumble. Number 24 with a recovery. And the offense will keep it after the fumble by the running back. It's a good thing they can't afford a turnover right now. The Rebels set up in the gun. Throws. And he's caught. They'll bring him down. That was a good completion there. Yeah, I really liked the good, clean routes they ran on that play. They'll work from the shotgun. And down he goes. About four yards on that play. Old Miss calls a timeout. Third down, less than a yard. Ball on the 47. Oklahoma has all their DBs in for this five wide set. He's rolling right, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. That'll do it for regulation, and we are going to settle this one in overtime. First and ten, ball in the 25. Number 18 with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Wants to throw outside. Someone got a hand on it. They went deep there, and did they have good luck with it? Well, I'll say that was a great touchdown catch by the wide receiver. And he hits the PAT. 
Let's see if they can answer the call here. Well, the big thing here is patience. There's not a game clock. You've got a fresh set of downs to work with. You just got to take your time and don't risk turning the ball over. It's first and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Oklahoma puts six DBs on the field to counter this five-receiver look. They'll throw on first down. Looks. The ball is tipped. Tipped away. Coach, you made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25. The Sooners line up in a nickel back. Sheds that one. And he's going to lose yards on this one. The quarterback draw not successful there. Nope, and I'm going to tell you why. This defense was not fooled at all on that play. Third and 14 coming up here. Ball on the 29. The Rebel come out showing three wide. Drops back to pass. He steps up. He's drilled as he throws. And it's incomplete. Couldn't complete that one to his halfback. He just needed a little less air under it. I don't think they have any choice here, guys. They're going to go for it. He drops back. Looking with the throw. Complete. And he's tackled. Well, it took overtime, but we finally got her done. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? Well, I love overtime in college football. There are so many ups and downs. It's just like a roller coaster. Oklahoma was fortunate enough to come out on top of this one. But really, both teams deserve a lot of credit for a hard-fought game. Well, that'll wrap up another chapter in NCAA Football 2005. And our final count, Oklahoma 20, Old Miss 13. This is Brad Nessler for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit saying so long.